a medley of neutral colors. I went, my, I went like that and there was like a red mark. It was nearly like all the time I've waited finally paid off. Hello my loves! So in today's video I'm sharing my Celine handbag collection with you and they are, also, they are actually all old Celines and I have like the three most classic, most typical um, Celine handbag types and I will also ha compare them in this video. So if you like to watch a little collection video and if you want to know what's the differences between those handbags what I like about them, what I like about each of the types and how they compare to each other, then just keep on watching. So the first one is the Celine Trapeze handbag. And the Celine Trapeze handbag, it's this one, I got that I think for my 21st birthday or something like that, or 20th, no, for my 20th birthday. And there was a seasonal color at the time, five years ago, and I love it so, so much. So if you look at it, it has this beautiful, like, more grainy um, white top. Then here the beige bottom, and here the sides are, like, in this, um, in this, like, gray beigey color. And at the back, it's also, like, the normal beigey color. And it's with gold hardware. I got the smaller one, so there are two sizes of the trapeze. I got the smaller one because I'm only 5'5 five five, and the smaller one just looked better on my body. And yes, I was really debating between this one and like the camel color one. And I had a lovely sales, sales associate here in Zurich and he um, like he convinced me to get this one because just not a lot of people have it because it was a seasonal um, color combination and also I have to say I wear this bag quite a lot because I think it you could actually wear this bag with like most outfits because it's like just a, a medley of neutral colors so very very pretty but the leather is very delicate so and it's delicate and there are like quite um, light colors so I have to be super careful wearing this bag like I would never wear this bag of like denim that could transfer or something like that and also be careful if you like have um, long nails because you can scratch this so so easily because if you look at it up close like it's quite a, quite a um, delicate leather and also like the leather here which doesn't look that delicate because it's too wide you have to be so careful because once I wore red nail polish and like I went, my, I went like that and there was like a red mark and I luckily could remove it but I went in my heart just like fell down there for a moment but yes so be really careful then I will just show you quickly um, the size of the handbag. Also, like those straps, you could also remove them. Like again, I said I'm five foot five, and like it hits me right here. So there's my bum if you're interested, and it hits me right here. If I wear it in the crotch of my arm, I think it's like the perfect size. So not too big and also not too heavy. And then you open it like that. Super secure, I think it's a it's a great bag. Also, if you go to a city, when it's not too crowded, because if it's crowded, I'm always scared that someone else will like touch my bag, and I'm quite protective over my bag. Then here you can see, yeah. those are tissues in my handbag and stuff like that. But it also has a zip here that you can close, and then it's even more secure. And also like Celine handbags, they're just beautifully made, like beautifully made, like really also like um, the hardware is such a good material like the old Celine ones. I'm always talking about the old Celine ones and um, I don't have a new Celine one. And I'm actually a bit nostalgic because I love the old, the old, all the old ones so, so much. So this is the trapeze and you can always get them on the pre-love market but just keep an eye out because um, if some people don't really treat their handbags so good and then they get super saggy and I have to say that's not normal with this bag because I now have this bag for over five years and I mean look at that 
doesn't look saggy at all and I I do stuff my back so like I don't only put like um, my little card holder and a key in there I also put a book in there I put an, an iPad in there I put a water bottle in there so it's not normal that it sags <laughs> so just you should be able to find one that isn't sagging because it's not normal then we're moving to the next Celine handbag that I bought and this one is the Phantom and as you can see here it's bigger um, than the trapeze handbag and I got it in this gray suede color which has like this croc embossed material on, um, material texture on top of it and it looks super great I think it looks stunning but also it's suede and this leather is actually even more delicate than the other Celine leather that I just show you from the trapeze so that's the reason why I also um, included this handbag in like my worst handbag purchases. Not because I don't like them, because don't like it, because I actually love this handbag so much. I think it's super pretty, like really super super pretty. But I just do not wear it a lot. Like I tend not to bring it on holiday where it's warm because it's so big, and I don't wanna like take it as an airport bag, and I also don't wanna like put it in the luggage because it's so delicate and here where I live it it just the chances of rain are actually usually quite high so like the days where I can wear them I can wear it are just limited but it actually is a great bag because it holds so much like if you look at it you could just open it like that like it has oh gosh there's a lot of stuff in there as well <laughs> like some socks and a magazine from January <laughs> that's when I lost use this back here I think and oh a muffin tray because I like to take muffins with me and put the empty silicon um, tray back here so I can use it again so yeah um, the bag itself is great it also has like a little inside pocket here but nothing else and also like yeah it's not that secure because you can open it just like that but you have those straps and you could um, close it somehow a little bit better I think it's like that like yeah if you look like it and that you could close it a little bit more and then but also the bag looks different do you see it here? It looks a little bit different. And then I will just show you the size. Again, I'm 5'4 on a good day. So it looks like that when it's closed. You have to keep in mind it always goes back a little bit if you have the cartoon in your arm. But I can actually wear it um, on my shoulders as well. And that makes it actually um, feel a lot more secure because I can really push my arm down there if I am in a crowded situation. So I do love the bag, but if you get it, keep in mind which letter you have and also because it's quite a big handbag and not the super most structured handbag, you have to keep in mind that um, if you get a delicate letter, like you have to be super careful because the bigger the bag of delicate letter, like the higher the chance that someone else like comes at your bag, like spills something down your bag or something like that. But also, um, in Celine there are different letters, so there are very sturdy letters, so there are phantom bags with very sturdy letters, and yeah, they are also a little bit more structured, which I actually like a lot to look at. So there was the phantom. And then, the last and the most recent addition to my Celine handbag collection is Celine luggage tote and it's in the medium it's like the medium luggage tote and here I have this sturdy letter that I talked about can you see that can you hear that <laughs> it's a very 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 sturdy letter so that's perfect because I was as I told you here it rains a lot so I was on the hunt for a handbag that is big and that I can wear um, without worrying when it rains and 
that was the bag that made it and I was actually looking for this one in like this particular burgundy color like a medium size and this type of leather for such a long time and like I just found it in my one of my most loved um, vintage stores here where I live it was <laughs> such a bargain so I was double lucky like it was nearly like all the time I've waited finally paid off and I found like such a good deal and that's probably why I had to wait so long and yes um, as you can see the size here You can see it's um, a little bit smaller than the Phantom, like quite a bit smaller. And if you compare it with the trapeze, can we look at like here? They are like the, the width of them is the same, but this one is obviously a little bit taller. And also this one I can wear it on in my arm here. So that's a plus. And here I it actually fits my MacBook Pro, which is 13 inches. Um, perfectly like it really just just fits in there and also um, it's super sturdy because I have this sturdy it's super um, roomy so I can actually fit quite a lot in there and because I went for the um, sturdy other leather it's um, like great with keeping the structure uh, like, like it's such a structured back and I'm actually such an um, an admirer and a lover of structured backs um, <laughs> I always just prefer structured bags and yes that's what I can say about this Celine um, bag here like the medium luggage tote and also like um, the Phantom and Trapeze they usually came in two sizes like the small one and the bigger one the um, Trapeze I got in the smaller size the Phantom in the bigger size and this one comes in a bigger size like I think that's called the mini and then I think that's the micro if I'm not wrong like the medium one and then it also comes in like a smaller one which is like that it's probably like um the small lady Dior and it comes with a strap as well and I actually like this size a lot as well but yeah I just went for this one because I have a lot of small handbags and I also have um the lady Dior in a burgundy color like so it wouldn't make sense to go for a go for a very similar one again and yes, those are like the little comparisons of those, of those handbags. And then what you probably are all interested in is the price. So most of those handbags aren't in the current collection anymore because they're, like I said, old Celine. But um, when I when you when they were available, they were like usually two and a half thousand um, dollars per handbag. And if you have some more special letters or stuff like that, the price just went up. And now if you go and look on the pre-loft market, actually, um, Sadeem bags do not keep their value that good. So you can actually make quite good bargains. So around the $1,000, $1,500 marks, you actually find quite good deals. So that's what I can tell you. I think I love Vestier. And I also love the Real Real because the Phantom one I got on the Real Real actually, and um, because they weren't it wasn't available anymore and I was um, too late buying it. So yes, those are like my comparisons of the Celine handbags. If you're a handbag lover, check out the other videos on my channel because I am a handbag lover myself and I do a lot of videos about handbags, also about shoes and just everything we all like and yes just check them out and i will see you in my next video bye bye